so we will put in youtube so that we'll get to know so can you send the link in the group sure sir you are putting it in youtube right it's a kind of advertisement only if somebody watches they will like us and google will pay money right why are sure, you will put it in public right it's public sir then i would have switched off my videos <laughs> <laughs> no ma i won't put see video won't come i think this this things only will come this things only will come one minute speed is coming i think right all right and yeah, that so, is fine so cos of sin t minus theta is equal to sin theta let us take another example and 90 plus x i'm sorry minus x uh, it is all first coordinate obviously you no need to think about uh, sign obviously you will get positive only what is the opposite of tan the opposite of tan is cot cot so the answer is cot x okay for example if someone ask you to you know find out some value we will see in the exercise so you should remember that now note down prove that prove that sin of 90 minus x is equal to cos x sin of 90 minus x is equal to cos x sin of 90 minus x is equal to cos x that is the question okay you you, you keep your notebooks aside okay so you listen concentrate from here only let's take what we said it's a trigonometric ratio of complementary angle right so let us take a triangle <clears throat> let us assume that this is a triangle a right angle triangle obviously in trigonometry we are going to deal with always a right angle triangle only let us assume that this is a and this is b and this is c so what is the angle b angle b is 90 degrees right. let us assume that angle a is x what about angle c what about angle it's c opposite side no i am asking about angle c i am not theta. asking theta huh it will be theta. theta so let's say this is 90 degrees it is conformed right what is the sum of the yeah. angles in a triangle 180 180 this is 90 so sum of these two should be how much 30 30 plus 30 hey i am asking about angle a plus angle c is how much obviously it is how much 9 ah uh, already angle a is x right and what yeah. about angle c angle c Maybe equal to children i think you people are sleeping or you are not focusing on over here this is a basic thing which i asked 90 minus x sir i don't see okay so this angle is 90 degrees minus x is it clear everyone yes or no yes sir yes babu irukriya pidama yes sir okay so let us assume that what is the definition of sin x what is the definition of sin x i am taking angle over here means this will become opposite side and this will become adjacent side right this will become opposite side and this will become adjacent side of course this is a hypotenuse what is the sin x value opposite side by hypotenuse what is the opposite side here bc what is the hypotenuse here ac right is it clear Yes or no? Tell me. Yes, yes. Yes. C equal to B C by A C. Now we know that angle A plus angle C equal to how much? Angle A plus angle C equal to ninety degrees. Why it is ninety degrees? Because in a triangle, some of the three angles is one eighty degrees, and this is a perpendicular line. Obviously, this is ninety. Now this. Plus this is ninety. What is angle A? Angle A equal to x, and then 
angle C equal to 90 minus X. Okay. You can put like that only or you can later you can change angle C equal to 90 degrees. Is it clear everyone? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Now I can write this 90 minus X. 90 minus X. Okay. In, because what is sin x? This is okay. I'll I'll do one more. I will write one more step. Better. <clears throat> sin x equal to what we learned BC by AC. Right? And tell me if the angle is forming over here, this will become opposite side. Right? This is the angle, then this will become opposite side and this will become adjacent side. Is it clear? Now I can write sin C equal to how much? Sin C equal to opposite side. That means AB by hypotenuse. If I am taking this angle, why I am taking this angle? Just I will give you some hint over there. So if sin x, sin x can be replaced as, how can I write sin x, x equal to, how can I write I x equal to 90 minus x. c, 90 minus c, I can write x equal to. Can I write like this? So what happened over here? Sin of 90 minus The C I am replacing with 90 minus X sine of 90 minus X, right? Equal to, so what is this? AB a, a, by AB by AC. But in another triangle, what is the value of AB by AC? If, if I'm using this angle, because if I'm using this angle, AB is nothing but this one adjacent side by hypotenuse. So this will become adjacent side by hypotenuse. What is adjacent side by hypotenuse? What is the definition of adjacent side by hypotenuse? Sine cos theta. Oh, oh, cos theta. Cos, sorry. Cos, cos theta. Cos theta. Uh, now tell me, I need to put cos x or 90 minus x. That is cos the x. Very good, cos x. I will repeat one more time, children. I know you people got confused here. Definitely, I know. See, look into this. First of all, you understood this right angle triangle, right? 90 yeah. x, 90 minus x. Is it clear, everyone? Jason Babu? Yes, sir. Anjada? Ah, yes, sir. Ah, now, now, what I am trying to say, you need to get into two... See, if I'm taking X means this will become opposite side and this will become adjacent side. If I'm taking 90 minus X means this will become opposite side and this will become adjacent side because this is the opposite of this one and this will become adjacent side. What I'm trying to do here, sine X. What is the definition of sine X? Sine X equal to... Oh, um. No. B C by A B. Right? Sin X equal to B C by A B. Is it clear, everyone? So X can be written as how can I write X? 90 minus. Okay, let me write like this. If you still if you have any doubt, take this angle, sine of 90 minus X is equal to because 90 minus x is nothing but what is 90 minus x angle c right this is the one so 90 minus sine of 90 minus c equal to how can i write sine of 90 minus c because what is the sine theta when it comes to the definition opposite side is this one a b by hypotenuse hypotenuse value is AC, AB by AC. Now, in another triangle, if I take 
the same triangle if i take x value this this will become opposite side and this will become adjacent side so adjacent side ab is adjacent side by hypotenuse i am writing over here adjacent side by hypotenuse what is that what we call adjacent side by hypotenuse is equal to cos x cos x so finally we proved that sin of 90 minus x is equal to cos x is it clear children okay yes, let's do, yes, let's do one more time i know still you are having confusion what is the logic over here is simple so this is 90 okay let us assume that this is a and this is b and this is c let us assume that this is x and this will become 90 minus x we know that 90 minus x now let us consider if i am taking 90 minus x sin of theta value is 90 minus x 90 minus x what is the definition of sin opposite side by hypotenuse so this is this will become opposite side right this is opposite side and this is hypotenuse and this is adjacent side so now ab is my opposite side and my hypotenuse is ac is it clear children everyone yes ah yes so simple so let us consider this this is the angle so what this will become opposite side and this will become adjacent side yes. now tell me in when I, when i am talking about with respect to the angle x what will happen ab is nothing but my adjacent side and ac is nothing but my hypotenuse or you can say what is the value of cos x what is the value of cos x Oppo what is the cos x opposite definition? side by hypotenuse no ma adjacent side by adjacent hypotenuse by right oh sorry what is the adjacent side for this fellow ab or bc or ac think ab, and tell me. AB. AB. what is the hypotenuse it's ac yes now you can see this ab by ac is there what i can write here therefore sin, sin of right. 90 minus x equals to cos x ah is everyone clear it's a simple just flipping the between two angles so that you will get the answer is it clear everyone yes sir no i am not able to hear soundly is everyone yes, yes. clear yes sir you want yes, to exercise yes, one more time Listen. It's clear. Nayanika. Sir, can I join? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Join. You join later. What is the time? You join. Sir, explain this problem. This only, sir. There is a background for this problem. Okay, listen here. I will explain one more time. Please look into the board. What we need to prove? We need to prove that sine of ninety minus x. is equal to cos x this is what we need to prove and it is a right angle triangle and complementary angle so this is right angle triangle let us assume that this is a this is b and this is c first of all why you join late john sir i thought that class will be at 6 oh, yesterday also we discussed yesterday only i published this is x This is ninety, right? Forget of first first time being. Let us assume that this is x. Now this is x means this will become opposite side, and this will become adjacent side, and this will become hypotenuse, right? Is it clear? So write all the at least two definitions. What is the sine x definition from this right angle triangle? We know that sine x equal to opposite by hypotenuse. What is opposite side here? BC. What is hypotenuse here? AC. Okay. What about cos x? Cos x equal to. What is the definition of cos theta? Adjacent side by hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Nakshatra, you should open your mouth. Open your camera. Nayanika, Nakshatra, Charvita. I should not ask every time. Adjacent side value is AB by 
hypotenuse value is AC. Is it clear, everyone? Till now? John Babu? Ah. Yes, sir. Now, this is 90 degrees and this is X. Then what about this angle? Because in a triangle, one angle is 90 means this sum of these two will be 90. Already this is X means this is going to be 90, 90 minus, minus X. Now, opposite of this one is nothing but AB. So, AB will become opposite side, right? This is opposite side and this is adjacent side. Of course, hypotenuse is same. Now, let us consider this angle, sin of 90 minus x. Now, tell me the definition of sin theta opposite side by hypotenuse. Right? What is opposite side? Opposite side is AB. What is hypotenuse? AC. But AB by AC can also written as what we can write? Cos x. Therefore, sine of 90 minus x is equal to cos x. Hence, it is proved. Please copy children. Draw the diagram. I will tell you some points. Please draw this diagram alone. John, is it clear? Yes, sir. Hmm. Just draw the diagram. I will explain. We know that. If no, not, man. You should cut hair, man. Completely you should cut. We know that. Uh, what, Hamshini? Yesterday, full puja. Over, huh? Yes, sir. Hmm. At, at every home, the default list is what is that? Either pulihara or lemon rice, vada, poison. What else, sir? That sweet pongal. This is a yes, default sir. list. Hmm. All right, we know that sum of two complementary angles, sum of two complementary angles, Neha, don't sleep, two complementary angles is 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Next slide. Let us consider. ABC is a right angle triangle. Let us consider. The two complementary angles is. Uh, you tell me, sir. Complementary angles, how much? Sum of two complementary angles. John Babu. 90, 180, 270, 360. How much? Uh, I don't know, sir. Come on, yeah. It's very bad. Two complementary angles means 90 degrees. Sum of two complementary angles is 90 degrees. I appreciate your thing. If you don't know, you are telling openly. But that is very basic, uh, John. Mm -hmm. Sum of two complementary angles is 180 degrees. Next line. ABC is a right angle triangle with right angle at B. <clears throat> with a right angle at B. Right angle at B. Right angle triangle. Comma, right angle at B. So B is a right angle means A and C are complementary angles, right? Next line. Yes. Next line. Since angle B is 90 degrees, Since angle B is 90 degrees, sum of other two angles, sum of other two angles. Sir, can you repeat it? Since angle B is 90 degrees, 
sum of other two angles add up to 90 uh, must be 90 degrees must be 90 degrees next line let us assume that let us assume that let us assume that angle a equal to angle a equal to 6 degrees angle a equal to 6 degrees come Is it angle A equal to x degrees? Then angle C equal to ninety minus x. Ninety minus x. So, so. Is there multiple children? Yes, sir. Uh, then angle C equal to 90 minus X. Note down these things. Sir, again, one more person from my class was asking for tuition, sir. Hmm. One more batch we are going to start now. Okay. Give my number and ask them to connect. So soon uh, we will start a new batch. We'll split this batch into two batches. One is five to six. Other one is six to seven. We'll tell sir, that I want to feel five to six batch, sir. Not six. Uh, sir, I want to watch six to seven. Uh, see, old students remains in the same batch. Whoever joins new batch, new student, they will go to the new batch. So I'll be going to six to seven, sir. I will tell you more Ari, later. Don't worry. Okay. So two people asked me, sir. One from my apartment and one from my class. Okay. Give two people. No, no and problem. And sir, both of them, both of their mother tongue is Telugu. That's okay. No problem. We are not going to talk with Telugu, right? No, sir. I'm just telling. Uh, give the IIT Foundation book. All right. Hmm. Are you I'll write the formulas first? Finally, my daughter came to study. <laughs> All right. Everyone copied? Let me know. No, sir. Let me... But only thing is, I need seventh class here. Yeah. Seventh class also we need. If any of your sister, brother, relatives, cousins, known, unknown, 6th to 10th, not even 6th, 5th class also you can put. Advanced they are learning. 5th class children, they are learning 6th class syllabus. Yes. <clears throat> Next year, I think 10th uh, uh, class we will start by January. That is for sure. <clears throat> So why is January only 9th only gets over by February? Yeah, but by the time we, we you go to the now 10th class. Now only we are doing 10th class. <laughs> right, already you are in 10th class syllabus, correct. Anyway. All right. Everyone copy? Yes. yes. Okay. You can write them similarly. Similarly. Tan 90 minus x equal to tan 90 minus x equal to Pranav, open your camera, pa. One minute, if I escape, you will close the camera. What you will do here yeah? after closing the camera? Huh? Pranav? I spoken with your mother. Okay. I saw a mistake. I didn't notice. Uh, sign of, sorry, similarly, tan 90 minus x equal to what what children tan of 90 minus x cortex cortex vice versa also true that means 
cot x equals to no, tan no, 90. No, 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 no. And cot of 90 minus x equal to cot of 90 minus x equal to tan, tan, tan x. x. What are you, when you will reach uh, Vaisag here? Why tomorrow afternoon? Okay. It's famous in Vaisag. Huh? What is famous in Vaisal? Fish. Yeah, get some fish. Then. <laughs> okay, all right. Next. Uh, secant 90, secant 90 minus x equal to secant 90 minus x equal to cosecant x. Vaisal is a beautiful place. That's what I hear. But I never visited. It is one of their highest. Hmm. Sir, then it will be uh, cosecant of 90 minus x equals to secant x. X, correct. And, <coughs> not done. And cosecant of 90 minus x equal to cosecant of 90 minus x equal to secant x. So, sir, Nine. if you want to use any one of these, to use the same way which you did right now. Correct. Correct. If they ask you to prove, similarly you have to prove. For example, tan if you want to prove, let me explain. Okay. Note down. down next side I think. Prove that tan of 90 minus x equal to cot x. Tan of 90 minus x equal to cot x. Power center. What is this? Ah. Sir, prove. No, no, not for you, sir. You, you, you concentrate here. John is a one person. He always. Uh... Okay. Now, what to do here? We need to prove that tan of ninety minus x is equal to cot x. Now, from the diagram, tell me the definition of cot x. What is the definition of cortex? Means you people are Sir, not speaking. opposite of sine. Adjacent side by Sir, nakshatra. Sine you should cortex. tell. Forget about them. They are nice. Adjacent, adjacent side, adjacent side by opposite side. opposite side. What is adjacent side when, when I am talking about x, right? This will become adjacent side. Head color. So adjacent side is AB. By what is opposite side? BC. Right. Now, tan of 90 minus x. What is the definition of tan x? 90 minus x means you should consider here the blue color one. Opposite side by adjacent side. Right? Opposite side value is AB. Adjacent side value is BC. So tan of 90 minus x equal to, so tell me AB by BC is replaced with cot x. Cot x. Please copy children. Give. Okay, first write the prime factorization. Give me the notes. Do you know the prime factorization? Huh. I'll give you. <laughs> okay. So call will disconnect. We will resign and then we will wind up the class after 10-15 minutes after resigning. All right. So now three part is over. Then we can try to solve the problem. Find the value of example. Find the value of secant 35 degrees. Secant 35 degrees by 
secant 55 degrees. Secant 55 degrees. This is Mr. Charvita. Charvita. Oh, ah. Right. This is the question. Simple children, no need to worry. A, uh, uh, we will convert either one. You, you convert either secant into cosecant or cosecant into secant. Uh, one second. Let me convert secant. How can I write 35 degrees? Secant 90 minus 55. Can I write like this? Because 90 minus 55 is how much? 55 only. Divided by why I am writing like that? Because I can write 35 degrees is nothing but 90 minus 55. Now we have a formula here, right? Just now we proved. We can 90 minus theta is how much? Because it is all in the first coordinate. You will get the positive so one. Secant theta? No. What is the opposite of secant? Secant, right? You said cosecant, huh? Instead of theta, what I am having? 55. She said cosecant, it is correct. By secant. Tell me cosecant 55 by cosecant 55, how much? One. One. So that is the answer. Yeah, try to solve first problem. First problem. That's uh, what? Sir, could explain the last step again? Huh. What is the rule, ma? Secant 90 minus theta. What is the value of secant 90 minus theta? It is in first coordinate. And you will get opposite, yeah. right? Secant opposite, okay. cosecant. It will be cos theta. No, secant opposite is cosecant, right? So you'll have cosecant theta. So instead of theta, what you are having here? 55 degrees, bro. Cosecant 55 degrees by secant 55. Both are same. You will get cancelled. So that equal to 1. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, let me open the book, textbook, trigonometry. Our audio recording is ready. Later we will see how the quality and all. Based on that, I will publish. I sent, I think, did I send the trigonometry material? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. So I guess you sent us the material, but not the textbook. So I sent the material, not the textbook, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll send the textbook. Also, you can download. And you can say uh, NCRT, 10th class trigonometry PDF means you will get. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> this is what we did now. We'll go on. Uh, find the value of tan 65 by cot 25. Tan 65 by cot 25. I don't know, Jason and uh, Nayonika, are you able to understand or not? This they will ask. These people won't talk. I'm getting. It, sir. getting? Yes, sir, I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, I can understand. Okay, madam, good. Golf is a costly game, no, Nayonika? Where you are going to play the golf? Uh, to KGA. KGA, where it is? Uh, I don't know the exact location, but it's like one hour away from my house. Kormangla? Kormangla golf, golf link. Kormangla, I know. Golf. I know Indranagar is there and Kormangla is there. I'm not sure where you are going. It is a costly game. Probably you are yeah. just you are rich person. <laughs> Like Sandana. Hmm. Everyone is rich here, including me. What Hamsini? What do you say? I don't know, sir. You should not tell like that. You should tell. Yes, sir. Hmm. 
what does it mean rich or not rich we are all rich ah huh? if you say rich you will become rich all right so how can we write tan 65 simple 90 minus see the logic what is given here 25 so you can say 90 minus 25 I write like this: sixty-five degrees is nothing but ninety minus twenty-five divided by hot twenty-five. So tell me, as yes, now we proved, tan of ninety minus theta is how much? Sir, it will be hot. Hot. Hot theta. So again, answer is one. One. Most likely, this kind of problems will give uh, the answer is one. So therefore. Sir, Will there be problems like tan sixty five by sine twenty five like that, like tan by sine? Uh, uh, no, it won't be. <laughs> They will give something like that. It will get cancelled. Okay, sir. We will see the example. We will see the problems. No, anyway. All right. <clears throat> Let me know once you copy. Done. Sir, Hmm. So it's it's dividing everything plus, plus it's multiplying and then plus minus. Minus will become plus, plus will become minus. First, we'll do that. What is your question? All right. Second, I'll come. Where is our textbook? Ah, ah, this one. If sine three a equal to, if sine three a equal to cos of a minus twenty six, sine three a equal to cos of a minus twenty six, where three a is an acute angle. What is meant by acute angle? So it's less than ninety degree. Ah, uh, three yeah. angles, right? Right angle, acute angle, obtuse angle. Please copy the question. I'll tell you the. I'll tell you how to solve this problem. Sir, I copy the question. Okay. Sine three a equal to cos of a minus twenty six. What they given? You put over here. Given. Look into the board, children. Call disconnects. Please rejoin. Sine three a equal to cos of a minus twenty six. Is it correct? Yeah. Yes. To remember, long back we solved similar kind of problem, but both the sides the ratio should be same. The trigonometric ratio should be same. Here it is sine and this cos. Either you convert this sine into cos or this cos into sine. As per my knowledge, converting this sine three a into cos is easy, simple, right? How can I write this sine three a equal to? So sine three a can be written as cos of ninety minus three a. Can I write like this? Tell me that just now we observed cos of ninety minus theta is how much? Sine theta. Uh, cos of ninety minus theta equal to sine theta. Or I can say sine theta can be written as ninety minus sine ninety minus theta. Same thing here. Sine of three a equal to I can write cos of ninety minus three a. Is it clear, children?